New Testament passages you must know. The New Testament, like the Old Testament, tells God's people that they must stop sinning and obey God's commandments and laws if they hope to enter the kingdom of God when it comes. This unpopular truth is not taught in many Christian churches today. Because obedience to God's laws is unpopular, New Testament passages about God's commandments and laws are often hidden from the flock in many Christian churches. God even pointed this out when he warned about the, the end time in parables like the parable of the ten virgins and the parable of the talents in Matthew 25 when the church was asleep and the parable of the talents when pastors were hiding God's word. Pastors are hiding scripture about obedience to God's laws as well as prophecy about the time of the end and Christ's return for the church. In this video, I'll read New Testament passages from Christ and the apostles about our need to stop sinning and about obedience to God's commandments. Yeshua said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, will enter the kingdom, my kingdom, but only he who keeps God's commands. But Lord, didn't we perform miracles in your name? I'll say, away from me, you law breakers. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. A man asked, what must I do to get eternal life? Yeshua says, if you want eternal life, keep God's commandments. Matthew 19. Yeshua, teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and I am with you to the end of the age. Matthew 28, part of the Great Commission. Why do you call me Lord and not do what I say? He who does what I say is a man built on the rock, but he who doesn't do what I say is a man without foundation, and his destruction will be complete. Yeshua replied, Blessed rather is he who hears the word of God and obeys what he commands. Lord, will only a few be saved? Yeshua, many will try to enter my kingdom and not be able to. I will say, I don't know you. But we taught in the church. I will reply, I don't know you. Away from me, you who break God's commandments. Anyone who loves me will obey what I command. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. These words belong to my Father. Yeshua, called Jesus, said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. Whoever keeps my commands loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will make our home with them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter God's kingdom but only he who does the will of my Father in heaven. The New Testament declares that the love for God is keeping his commandments. It's a requirement of salvation to enter the kingdom of God. Christ said, keep my commands and remain in my love, just as I kept my Father's commands and remained in his love. Jews and Gentiles must turn to God in repentance and demonstrate their repentance by what they do, their deeds. God's word spread and the disciples increased rapidly. A large number of priests became obedient to the faith. I declare both Jew and Gentile that they must turn to God in obedience and have faith in Yeshua, the Messiah. Everyone who breaks the law sins. If we say we don't sin, we lie. No one who knows him keeps on sinning. No one who is born of God will continue to sin. Everyone who breaks the law sins. What then? Should we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? No.
Do we then nullify the law by this faith? Not at all. Rather, we uphold the law. Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. It is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. Boasting is excluded because God's law requires faith. A person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. There is only one God who will justify the Jew and the Gentile by the same faith. Do we nullify the law by this faith? Not at all. Rather, we uphold the law. Cursed is anyone who does not uphold the words of God's law by carrying them out. Don't you know that you are slaves to the one you obey? If you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or you obey God, which leads to eternal life. If we claim to have fellowship with God and yet continue to sin, we do not have the truth. But we walk, if we walk in obedience, we have fellowship with Yeshua and will forgive our sins and purify us from unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar and God's word is not in us. After everything I've done, why don't Christians love me? This is love for God, to keep his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. This is how we know that we are God's people by loving God and keeping his commands. In fact, this is love for God to keep his commands and his commands are not burdensome. Yeshua said, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. If you keep my commands, I will remain, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. Whoever keeps my commands loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by the Father. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will make our home with them. Jesus, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter God's kingdom, but only he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Point out, I, I and the Father are one. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is the Father in the flesh. It's time for judgment to begin with God's household. If, we, if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey God? God will pay back tribulation to them who give and give you relief when Yeshua is revealed from heaven. He will punish those who do not obey God. Yeshua became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. He was designated by God to be high priest on the order of Melchizedek. Abraham was considered righteous by what he did. His faith and actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. He obeyed God. God considers a person righteous by what they do, not by mere faith alone. As the body without the spirit is dead, faith without obedience is dead. The New Testament requires faith that obeys. In the same way, faith by itself, is not, if not accompanied by action, is dead. You see that faith in his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. Contend for the faith entrusted to you because ungodly people are among you who pervert God's grace into a license to sin. They deny that Yeshua is God. Remember, Yehovah entered delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who do not believe. People slander what they do not understand, and the things they think they do will destroy them. They use pagan traditions and eat unclean without the slightest thought. They are shepherds who feed only themselves. Yeshua is coming with his holy ones to judge everyone. Why don't Christians do what I tell them? Don't they believe me? Do they lack faith? 
New Testament passages you must know. This, all these passages have been in the New Testament by Christ and by the apostles. How can you obey God if you don't know what God commanded? Christians need to wake up and check the scripture to see what is true. This is just a sample of that truth.